So I'm back from having seen Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Got myself a little X-Men Dark Phoenix cup. This movie seems a bit unnecessary. Absolutely no one was asking for this movie, but oh well. As for the new Godzilla, King of the Monsters movie, man, it was awesome. And it didn't disappoint. I could have done without the family storyline and Millie Bobby Brown from Stranger Things being in there. But I guess they added some substance to the movie. If the entire movie was monster battle driven, hell, I would have liked it even more. So just a brief summary of the movie without giving away any spoilers. Here you have Godzilla, King of the Monsters, walking around all badass. But then when King Ghidorah shows up, causing all types of trouble, you don't want to mess with the King of the Monsters. So Cinema Puke gives it three stars. Check it out. Now here's one movie I didn't know got released on 4K. Hannibal. And by Kino Warber. Badass. This better be three bucks. I'm taking it. Yep. Definitely. So Walmart has these Blu-ray Ultimate Collector Editions for 14 bucks each. God damn, that's a steal. Especially this one for over the Cuckoo's Nest Blu-ray. I definitely gotta take this one. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> All right, guys. So since there weren't any new major releases that came out today, let's see what I did get today. So first up, I made a brief stop at Best Buy. Popped in to see if they had anything worth buying. I found Hatchet 2, the unrated director's cut on DVD. Not bad considering I don't own any of the Hatchet movies. And to be completely honest, I've never even seen any of the Hatchet movies. And I also picked up a couple CDs. Took advantage since Best Buy's no longer going to be selling CDs. I absolutely had to pick up the Ozzy Osbourne tribute album to Randy Rhodes. That one has to be my absolute favorite live album from Ozzy. And of course, with the late Randy Rhodes. And I picked up the Fly in the Wall album by ACDC. I had previously picked up that album a while back at a thrift store, but when I opened it up, the wrong album was inside. So I finally made up for that one. Pretty good overall finds today at Best Buy. I kept it simple. And at Walmart, I picked up this absolutely beautiful collector's edition Blu-ray box of Milos Forman's Academy Award Best Picture winner, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Some of the special features include First Time on Blu-ray, Completely Cuckoo, a comprehensive 87-minute retrospective in its full original length. Michael Douglas, Milos Forman, and Ken Casey describe how a movie landmark was made with actors and patients on location in a working mental hospital. All new interview with Michael Douglas, plus production collectibles, a 52-page commemorative hardbound book, reproduction of the original press book, 52-card deck of cast-inspired playing cards, four mini reproductions of the original worldwide theatrical posters, and cast character photo cards. So 
Satan. What does Satan mean to you? Nothing. Everything.